All right. Some of you are probably not aware of this. Some of you have been waiting for a long time for this to happen. I'm talking about Debian. They have released a new stable version, and that's Debian 7 Wheezy. And we're going to look at that today on Spatry's Cup of Linux. All right, I'm sure a lot of people have been waiting a long time for this one, and here it is. We are looking at Debian 7 Wheezy. This just came out, and, well, actually, it's been around for a long time. It's just been in testing, but now it has officially moved over to the stable branch. And that means a number of changes have taken place. Now, as you can see here on the screen, it is no longer using GNOME 2. Now it is using GNOME 3. And basically I just did a simple install in VirtualBox on this one. This has full compositing effects and everything. Okay, first, if you look above me here, uh, where it says Spatry, if you uh, click on this, all right, this is where you can quickly uh, look at your uh, notifications. You can turn that on or off, go into system settings, your logout, and all these options here. Great for those of you who do not know what GNOME 3 is all about. I know it's been around for a while, but apparently they picked out the stable version here. Okay, and I didn't play a whole lot in GNOME 3 myself because I tried it a little bit and I just didn't care for it. I liked the old GNOME two at the time GNOME 3 came out because of the compiz effects and that sort of thing. And that's something you will not get here. Take my word for it, folks. Okay, you have a battery indicator, your internet access, a volume control where you can also go in and adjust your sound settings to your liking. And this is another neat feature that I thought was cool. I never took a chance to explore these, but you have a number of options here available to you for uh, accessibility. Let's say you need to have reading glasses, that sort of thing. You know, you can make the, uh, the text appear to be larger. Uh, the zoom effect here will literally let you zoom the entire screen. That's kind of cool. I think the zoom's a little bit too much there, but I think you get the picture. A lot of really neat accessibility features. And uh, during the time I was um, going over this distribution, I looked at a number of these items that are included in here. And it's kind of neat that it reads things off the screen for you if you decide to uh, select that option, having uh, having uh, it read the screen to you and that sort of thing. And then, of course, if you have any other accessibility settings, you can pretty much configure all of them right here in this dialog, so not too shabby. Okay, now um, we have an option where if we move our cursor to the lower right of the screen, you're going to see a little bar right down here. Okay, now if you have any um, removable drives connected down there, there's an option to remove them. You're not going to see that here because I don't have any optical drives or uh, any uh, removable data there. By pressing the super key, or um, uh, for those of you who have a Windows key, or um, just um, clicking activities, or just moving the cursor to the upper left corner of the screen, just like I just did here, this is where you will uh, access a number of your programs and that sort of thing. On the left side here, you have um, access to Ice Weasel, which is an unbranded version of Firefox, and pretty much most of your Firefox plugins should work with this. All right, um, you have um, a, a quick link to Evolution Email, Empathy for all of your uh, instant messaging needs, Rhythm Box Music Player, Shotwell Photo Manager, the LibreOffice Writer, a quick access to Nautilus, and then of course Help is located here. I like how they laid out the applications setting. And here you can see all of the applications this comes preloaded with, or you can look at them in the categories here. Um, just some standard applications to get you started. And typically most of these applications that you're seeing here come standard with a GNOME desktop. So you would get an archive manager, calculator, um, a root terminal, which it will come in very handy. Um, 
You can also take a screenshot if you're having a problem with the system and you're on the forums they're asking you for to give them a screenshot or something. You can take a screenshot, that sort of thing. And a few other little applications here. Um, a number of games. Some of these games are quite crappy, I'll be honest with you, but they're part of the GNOME package. I mean, I like the Minesweeper game, you know, um, but I think that's the only game that I would play. Maybe Quadrupacel once in a while. But uh, really... Um, not that great. You'll probably want to uh, do some sniffing around in the package manager. Uh, in graphics tools, you get an updated version of the GIMP, which was surprising to me because I figured we'd get a, a version that's still weirdified, where you got all these floating windows, and in actuality, you don't get that at all. Uh, with this, it is a pretty decent, uh, up-to-date version, version 2.8, that comes with this, and it's been de-weirdified. I, uh, so I thought that was quite interesting. All right, and in other applications here, you get Inkscape for those of you who like to draw and uh, use uh, vector graphics and that sort of thing. Here, there's my graphics menu. Uh, events, document viewer. This will open up anything, pretty much, for the most part. LibreOffice Draw. Tell me, who uses LibreOffice to draw stuff? I never have, anyway. Matter of fact, I've never used Microsoft Office to do any drawing. Huh, but it is what it is. Okay, I already mentioned Shotwell for managing your photos. It's located here, and then you get the simple scan in Internet. I mentioned some of these uh, items already. Um, you get, um, so, I mean, pretty much you have uh, some tools for all this. Remote desktop sharing. If you're having problems, somebody else can connect to your machine and help you fix those problems. And then, of course, transmission for BitTorrent. Personally, I think Del Deluge is a lot better. It's my personal favorite, but this is part of the GNOME package, so you're pretty much stuck with uh, what they threw in here. Okay, and then you get the LibreOffice suite and, the, and a dictionary that comes with this. No programming tools. I wonder why they just didn't remove this from the list until you have an item actually installed there. Sound and video. You get Brazero for um, making wonderful coffee coasters. I mean, burning CDs or DVDs. Personally, uh, not my favorite. I prefer XF Burn in my Linux system. Cheese for webcam viewing. A movie player. Rhythm box for managing all your multimedia files on your system, a sound user, and a sound recorder. But don't expect any out of the box DVD playback support. You may have to dig around for some codecs for those. In system tools, just about everything you'll need is right here for getting the most out of the system. Um, bug reporting, uh, that's kind of interesting that they have that there. So if you run into any bugs, this is a good place to do it. But Come on, in, um, uh, in, now that this is a stable, you're probably not going to run into very many of them because this has been tried and tested, and we all know that, um, that um, the previous version of Debian 6, that sat there for quite a long time. So they had a long time to test all of these things. But the thing is, uh, from right here, you can add or remove software. You have advanced settings for the system. Uh, let's have a quick look at that and see what options it gives us here. Okay, and uh, in here, this is where you can maybe do a light little bit of tweaking to your system. You can, um, uh, some of these options, it doesn't look like it's doing anything because we really don't have much of a desktop here. But um, you can manage your system's fonts here, manage your shell and extensions. If you are able to find any themes online, this is probably where you would want to select them once you have extracted those themes uh, to uh, the correct area. And I'm just curious here how many themes they give us. Really, not many. Yeah, and a cur only one cursor theme. So gnomelook.org is your friend. They have a lot of really cool GTK3 themes that would probably look really great in this. Back in Applications. And then uh, System Tools. Let's see what else we have here. Okay, your Update Manager. You have uh, other system settings right here. But remember, folks, you can also get those right here without having to uh, muck about with all this. So pretty much, this is just a simple bare-bones install. And uh, if there's anything more that you want to get out of this operating system, 
you might want to check out the uh, wiki for uh, Debian and, uh, you know, search and find your answers to your questions there. That's all I have on this distro. Bottom line, if you need an operating system where stability is your primary concern and you're going to be using that machine in a production environment, you cannot go wrong with the latest version of Debian. Mm -hmm.